Welcome to this episode of Catching Up with Yoseka Stationery. So, so casual. casual. May is back. Hi. Welcome her back. Hi. <laughs> I think people, um, I was reading some of the comments and yeah. I think people enjoyed our conversation last week. Really? Yeah, I That's think so. Nice. Yeah. It's nice to know. There was a little bit, a little bit of goofiness, um, <laughs> you know, which Neil doesn't always bring. He tends to be very serious mm -hmm. and brings all the history and the facts about right. the station. Everybody had, everybody brings their own little flair, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I'm starting to get used to like being on Catching Up now. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. yeah it's fun. It'll be fun to have you on more regularly. Mm -hmm. So this has been a great week at Yoseka. We actually had um, Chinese, Lu China Chinese Lunar New Year this past weekend. Um, and it was very fun. I've been um, celebrating like a lot of holidays and like doing more of the holiday stuff with Jacob at mm -hmm. home. So Neil and I brought Jacob to the Chinese New Year parade in Flushing and there was like dragon dance and lion dance, which so fun. it was so yeah. fun. And we've been trying to like talk to Jacob about it and I've read him a book about it recently, but like you don't really get it until you see it. And I still think he was kind of like confused about the idea of a parade <laughs> because it's just like this like procession right. of people on floats like why i don't know i don't know what the history of parades did is. he have fun yeah he definitely had fun he had fun and it was fun because we got to dress him up in like a traditional it was very like the red <gasps> satin oh my god. Um, outfit oh my god yeah That's so cute. yeah and then i felt really silly on the way there because where we live like there's not a lot of chinese people but as we were getting to the location of the parade where there's a lot of chinese people mm. who celebrate the lunar new year um we saw all these little kids in the same outfit. It was so cute. It was so good. So, I need to see photos cute. of this. Yeah, so yeah. Cool. I'll show you later. I'll show you later. Um, what about you? How was your Lunar New Year? So Lunar New Year was Saturday, right? Yeah. So that was also my birthday. Also your birthday. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, so it was my Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> but I, I was in the store at mm -hmm. work that day. Yeah. It was a good day. It was mm -hmm. like fairly busy. Um, so it was good. I hey. had dinner after. Got a lot of gifts. Oh. Thank you. Well, everyone <laughs> wish me a happy birthday. <laughs> A Why customer actually oh. came in and wished me a happy birthday too. How? Oh, because it's yeah. a fun story. Oh yeah. Oh my god, you're getting so much attention. <laughs> <laughs> you look really cute that day too. Yeah, you we were in up. a really nice outfit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very cute. Great day. Okay, cool. Um, and then other than that, you know, we had some fun things going on at Yoseka. Um, other than that, we have our our team has been, um, you know, just busy working on creating new products that we're going to talk about later, mm -hmm. and also, you know, designing some things for the coming yeah. year. Yeah. yeah, we have some projects mm -hmm. that are um, in the works right, right now, which right. are really exciting. Ashley's working on something, yeah. which is really cool. Mm -hmm. And um, May is also working on some cool stickers, mm -hmm. right? So, um, you know, we'll, we'll share details on those as soon as we can. And then we have also just been really busy with Stationery Fest stuff as well. So Stationery Fest, we are hosting Stationery Fest this August 7th, 8th, and 9th. It is going to be a big celebration of stationery and people who love stationery. And um, we have invited a lot of brands to come and participate both in the market space where they can bring their lineup of products and tell people the story of their collections, mm -hmm. the history of the brand, what the brand is all about. And it's really going to be um, we hope to be something where people can come and learn more about the stationery that they love and the brands that they support. Um, so that's going to be in the market space. And then we're actually going to have a separate workshop space too, um, all in the same building. The separate workshop space will be um, a large space where we're going to invite brands to come and uh, teach workshops, um, host seminars. We'll do meetups there. Um, all sorts of things. And we've just been planning this uh, with 
everybody the last couple of weeks and excited to announce and tickets are available now. I feel like people are asking. <laughs> like sometimes you forget to tell people. It's like, oh, tickets are available, by the way. You can get them on our website. But uh, we've been talking to brands a lot. And as of now, there are 20 brands. Um, some of them are just like individual people. Yeah. But yeah, there's 20 brands that are listed on the exhibitors page. Mm -hmm. So go check them out. Um, there'll definitely be names and people and brands that you know and love already and then some that you might not that you'll find out more about um, and we'll have a lot more announced over the coming weeks so so I checked out that page yesterday yeah <laughs> yeah personally yeah and uh, 20 seems like like I don't know like I was expecting there to be like 10 or something oh really I didn't know all the <laughs> said yes yeah so yeah, yeah yeah no we've been working man <laughs> And there's more, there's more too right, that right. are confirmed that we just haven't announced yet. Mm -hmm. But we've already, like in previous episodes of Catching Up, we've talked about our friends like Abby C, CY, um, Sailor, Travelers, mm -hmm. TSL will be here. With this like recent publication of the exhibitors list, the 20, it's also including names like Blackwing and... Um, Esterbrook. Yeah, Esterbrook, Leonardo, yeah. Yamamoto Paper. So exciting. Yeah, so we are very excited yeah. that this event is going to be great. And we actually just today got off a call with Brad Dowdy, Pen Addict, and he will be involved with the event as well. So, um, so exciting. it's very exciting. And I'm just really thankful for people just like taking a chance, like <laughs> on Station Fest, on, on this thing that we're organizing. Um, I think it's like gaining momentum and people are seeing that other people are gonna be there. Mm -hmm. And so it's all, it's all because the community is so supportive. It's really just like a, a very positive little bubble that we're in here. So I thank you all. Yeah, and uh, I was thinking about this, like it's hard to imagine now, like it's like snowing outside. Yeah. It's like very kind of like far off in yes. my mind. But yeah. like when I think about like summer and that area just in general, like yeah. there's a lot of events sometimes. Yeah. And even with like other people's events going on in that space, like the energy is like different mm -hmm. on the street. Yes. And it's like very exciting that it's gonna be <gasps> our event. Our event, that's true. <laughs> and like, I think those days, like, those three days, if you like, I'm just thinking about like me going to work. Yeah. It's gonna be so fun. And yeah. like, I feel like I'm gonna see people on the streets and like, say, huh? Oh like, my God. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. That's true. I mean, so I'm getting be, excited. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this, the stationary community is basically going to take over yeah. the, like, Greenpoint, right? Like, that, yeah, like maybe the cafes will be like, what's right. going on? <laughs> <laughs> like our favorite tea shop, like, wait a minute. <laughs> so many people with All notebooks are in here. Like yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious yeah. to think about. You're right. I love that. I love to think about that. Cool. Um, so yeah, let us know in the comments if you have any questions about the event or anything, or leave us um, a notebook and a found pen in the comments if you are excited, <laughs> if you're coming. Um, yeah, and other than that, we have we do have some newly added stationery to talk to you all about. I'll start here with some really exciting new pens. Can you can see them here because they're bright pops of yeah. color. These are the Lamy 2024 colors, Violet Blackberry and Pink Cliff. So here's a closer look at them. These are really bright and like very different from last year's. You know what Lamy did recently? They, um, I was just looking at their Instagram and they posted like every single special color that they've done Ooh. in the past 20 years or something. Um, and it's really cool to see all the colors. You should go check that out and you guys should go check it out mm -hmm. too. Um, but they always do like a bright, they usually do like a bright splashy color. Um, and, and the colors that are like darker, I feel like are, are rarer in my opinion. Um, but it's cool to look at all the colors together. Um, so these are the two Lamy 2024 colors. They are Lamy Safari fountain pens. Um, and this up here is the pink cliff. Yeah, this up here is the Pink Cliff and it comes with a matching sleeve until supplies last. It's kind of like a special fun thing they do. Yeah. There's always something. Um, and this is a matte finished body Lamy Safari with black clip 
and a pop of pink on the section there and then it comes with a black nib as mm -hmm. well and then a pop of color here yeah a pop of color there um and then may do you want to show everybody the okay. violet so blackberry violet blackberry this one has a polished finish mm -hmm. so it's not matte also has a black clip and then purple pop of color mm -hmm. on the side very cool. Yeah, um, so Lamy is calling these pens the ki kiwi colors, like K-E-W-I. And I don't know what that What's means. That mean? I don't know what it means. I feel like, I don't know if it's a different language or something. They didn't explain it. Um, but that's what these colors are being called. Yeah, I'm, I'm here for it. It's fun, it's bright. It's like a splash of color in the dead of winter. I, I like I like how the splash of color is like hidden in the sleeve yeah. for the for the uh, pink cliff over here. Mm -hmm. And last year they did those pastel yeah. colors. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. They did three colors last yeah. year, and this year they're doing two. So they change it up every year, which is kind of interesting. Um, okay, also new on the table. Where should we go? I think we should go straight into this one. Okay, <laughs> this is May's like favorite thing that she's been talking I, about for two weeks. Yeah. This is it! <laughs> so it's these um, little post-it uh, stickies um, yeah. from classic -y. and it's censored <laughs> by these stars right here because they're basically like drawings of these women whose uh, who's, uh, skirts are kind of like blown yeah, up yeah. by the wind. I guess it's, it was a really uh, windy day. Yeah. That's so funny. It's, 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 Does it change or is it the no, same? It's the okay. Same. That's really yeah, funny. So it's though. just like a bookmark, like sticky notes. Which I guess it would be funny to have this, like, you know, like peeking out of your Yeah, marking book. your page and yeah. then you don't see like like that. And then you reveal. Oh my god. That's so funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. And uh, it's it's kind of funny because like we received these a while ago and no one wanted to enter them. <laughs> <laughs> because they're like, what were we gonna say about them, right? Yeah, but did you? Did, were you the one who finally? Um, I took the photos. Oh, okay, and then, okay, okay. And then someone, like, I kind of forced Gordon to. Uh, <laughs> Gordon. <laughs> enter them. Oh my God. <laughs> Gordon was probably blushing the whole time. <laughs> these are kind of funny. Um, <laughs> they are really yeah. funny. It's from the genius mind of Nancy Secchi, yeah. who um, a lot of her artwork. Uh, she's unfortunately deceased artist, but um, a lot of her art artwork is featured on a lot of classic-y items like and these are very much her style of mm -hmm. drawing she was she was like one of uh she did a lot of eraser carving imprints oh really? yeah kind of like eric small things yeah but obviously very different <laughs> very different design yeah. yeah these are kind of fun um, yeah you know she also has like a beautiful woman um have you ever seen that the beautiful woman little message cards Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So mm -hmm. she's very like comic style almost, right, I guess. Right. That was funny. It's also next kind up. Of very oh. Japanese. It <laughs> is very Japanese. Yeah. All right. Next up, we have this is really cool. I'm very excited about these. These are campus sticky notes. Um, campus, for those of you who don't know, um, campus is huge in Japan. And it's a, a line of stationery that is made by Kokuyo, which is one of the biggest stationery manufacturers in Japan. And campus specifically is a line of supposedly, like supposed to be very affordable stationery meant for students. Right, right. <clears throat> so, isn't, like campus notebook, like isn't that like really famous? So popular, like every single student uses like right. a campus notebook. It's like a marble. It's like a marble composition notebook here. Right, it's like right. five star, or whatever, mm -hmm. but much better. <laughs> so, um, campus sticky notes are these little guys, and it's cool. They come in these little booklets like this, and there's actually um, you can choose from either a six millimeter. Uh, line spacing or seven millimeter line width in these two sizes, right? Yeah. These larger sizes and these smaller sizes. And the idea of these, it has this little logo here. 
and once I explain, it'll make sense. <laughs> so you're supposed to use these. You're supposed to use these. You tear it off. You're supposed to use these. Let's say you're a student. You run out of space on your page in your notebook. This is your page. This is the bottom of your page. You're supposed to use these as like a page extender like this. Mm -hmm. So you can keep taking notes on your page. You can keep writing and then you fold it up. So it comes with this crease already actually. So you write, write, and then it even has lines on the backside for you to continue writing. And I think that's, that's just really genius. Cool. Yeah. I think that's just genius. I can't remember how many times I was a student and you know, I was one of those like, students that kind of wanted their notes to be pretty organized mm -hmm. and it's like when you're writing your notes on one thing but you moved on right. writing on the other thing already did you ever like <laughs> switch and like write like on the side all the time yeah. and then I, I always had like all these arrows being <laughs> yeah. drawn because like oh more here yeah. or, like a yeah. star here and then a star there so like this is perfect for yeah, that. It's really cool. Yeah. And like you could use like regular sticky notes to like extend your notes, but then you would have to move it to like read what's underneath. Yes. You know, but that's this, so true. You don't have to do that. That's true. I can, I, I, I even feel like I could use this in my Hobonichi A6 because sometimes <laughs> um, I'm just writing a lot. Yeah. Like I run out of space. So there's some days when I write like nothing. I write like two lines. And then there's some days when I'm just like overflowing with things that I want to say. <laughs> And then I actually have to go on to the next mm. day to write, but this is the perfect yeah, this thing. Is perfect for you. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> and it comes with good paper too, actually. Mm. Campus is known to have good paper, so it's actually fountain pen friendly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next up, we have some cool paper clips um, from this company, Zenith. These are come in these triangle packagings because the paper clips themselves, if you open up, there's 50 in a pack, two colors, gold and silver. The paper clips themselves are actually triangles. Yeah, so they are meant to be perfect for a corner. Yeah. Corner shaped. shaped. And then when you turn the page, when you turn the page, you can just get you know, a really good, you can, it doesn't have to be like in the middle of the page. It doesn't create like a big mm -hmm. dent as you turn the page. So that's cool. And they're also just like very cool looking. Like yeah. That. I like the packaging. It's yeah. really like vintage. Yeah, very vintage. I, it just reminds me of like, you know, the Cocoina mm -hmm. um, glue. It's also like Italian. Mm -hmm. So I feel like their packaging for these stationery, right. they're just like very retro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very cool. And then last up, we have a very cool gadget. <laughs> last week when May was on, we were also talking about a pen case. Oh yeah, Do you remember? That's right. We were talking about the really, really old school pen yeah. cases that a lot of kids like, in Asia grew up with. The flip up. up. Nice. Yeah. Um, we'll put a picture of it here. <laughs> um, but today we have like a modern take on that a little bit. Yeah, this is so, like very much like similar energy. To yeah. That. So this is. Otabako by Pilot. From Pilot. So it folds up like this. Very simple. But then when you open it up, so it opens up like this. And you can open this one up like that and flip this open. And you have a nice little like standing pencil case. Mm -hmm. So you can do a lot of different things with it. Like you can put your pencil here so it's like standing. Yeah. That's so I, cool. I no like I like can't. at a desk, you have like <laughs> yeah. a pen cup or whatever, mm -hmm. cup for all of your writing yeah. instruments. And then it also has this like grippy thing here. So it's very nice to hold your phone like that. That's great. Yeah. I love that. And like nice little like platform here to like have whatever you're using. And then you can stand a bunch of stuff in this little section over here. Wow, look at that. How cute. Yeah. How cute. Oh, wait, show the. How you know, cute. This is good for a college student. I was just gonna say, yeah. like if you're studying for a long like for long hours at the library or yeah. something, it might be nice to have this. Like yes, this, like I, yeah, I was thinking the same because those college kids really camp out in the library yeah. for like all night sometimes. And I feel like um, 
online classes. I feel like this would be very nice to like have your class here. Mm. It would probably like work on like a little bit of it, like a larger, like an iPad too. Right. Like not a full size one, but yeah. 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 Cool. So cool. I really like this. Yeah. I love like camping out at a cafe and like having my own like station. <laughs> Being like very obviously like into it, like That's so funny. Studying. This is what this is what people are gonna. This is the type of thing that people are gonna be bringing to to be yeah. in Brooklyn, and the cafe owners are gonna be like, okay, what's going on? And then it folds up so nicely. Wow! Well, and there's all these colors, right? Yeah. But this is the like the purple one. All right, so that's all the newly added stationery. Okay. All right, so that's all the newly added stationery for this week. And, um, you know, we don't have an Ask Yoseka Anything question this past week. Um, but I thought, you know, I've been wondering lately, I thought I would ask you, is there any stationery item that you've been loving recently? Well, very recently, I've been loving my you purchased. Oh yeah, <laughs> you got it for your birthday. Yeah, I got it for my birthday at the store. Uh, this is my birthday pen. Um, I'll show you what is it? Tell so, everybody. This is the Vanishing Point Gunmetal Gray in fine. Uh huh. Yeah, and it's my first Vanishing Point. Mm hmm. Um. And I've tried these so many times at the store, and I love them. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I got the fine nib, um, and it's so soft that I'm actually like a little bit afraid of it. <gasps> like it's so soft, like it feels like I'm gonna like break it. Oh my god! <laughs> no, you're not gonna break it. <laughs> Yay! I love it. I'm glad you've been loving it. Yeah, we got a lot of questions from people like. Oh, what pen is that when you um when we shared that you got this pen for your birthday oh really yeah yeah um it's a very visually yeah. uh, different pen yeah it. so this is the pilot vanishing point it's a gold nib found pen mm -hmm. for anyone who doesn't know very very popular one of like our team's favorite pens here and probably the best it's the best retractable found pen i'll yeah. say it i'll say it <laughs> <laughs> um it's really cool it's so cool. Yeah. And I love that like if I'm if I want a different nib, I can just easily like swap mm -hmm. the nibs too. And I also love this ink. This is um, Sailor Manyo Shirakashi. Yeah. And I actually learned about this ink uh, when I was interviewing Leslie for her oh, okay. ink collection yeah. video. Yeah. And this was um, Leslie's like most used, like favorite ink. Oh. And I was like, I want to try that. <laughs> it's a good and it's one. It's so good. It's a great yeah. one. Yeah. It's like greenish, brownish, but really, really yeah. like great color. And this is like drying a little bit greener on this MD paper, mm -hmm. but I've been writing in my Hobonichi with yeah. this and it dries really brown. Ooh, yeah. okay. So yeah. that's your, your like stationary Recent. item that you've been using yeah. a lot recently. Mm -hmm. Pilot Vanishing Point Fine Nib in Shirakashi, yeah. inked with Shirakashi mm -hmm. Manyo. Good, nice answer. Yeah. What about you? <laughs> oh my God. Um, you know what? I have actually been, the, my most used stationary item is this planner right here this year. Mm -hmm. It is the Take a Note Medium Weeks B6. But um, I want to talk about this pen. I've been taught. I've been using this pen a lot in it, and I'll show everyone. Like this is my work planner. But this year I've been using the Pilot Acro. It's mm -hmm. a ballpoint pen, mm -hmm. and I've been liking it a lot in my planner because I actually got the idea from Amy earlier or at the end of last year to just use black ink in my work planner. Um, just because I usually switch up my fountain pen ink colors so much <laughs> that, and then I have multiple inked pens at once. Right. So what ends up happening is there's just like four or five colors on every single page. And then when I'm looking back on it, my eye just usually goes to the brightest mm -hmm. color and I don't, I don't see everything for that reason. So it doesn't- It's like distracting. It's distracting. It, may, it doesn't really make sense for, especially like my work planner. I think for journaling it's fine, but for my work planner where I really want to see like 
what I did on a certain day or what I have coming up, it doesn't make sense. So I've been loving the Pilot Acro um, in this mist. This is the Misty uh, series, and it's the Pilot Acro 0 0.3 millimeter. 0 0.3. Very fine, very very fine. Um, but if I like once I use this stuff, if I wanted to put like a 0 0.5, I could also use 0 0.5. So yes, that is my recent stationary item that I've been using a lot. Well, Neil's not here. Oh, but <laughs> Neil's most used recently, I think, is his Hoenichi. Oh yes, it is. It's his Hoen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he has his the tiny, dragon. tiny dragon's Hoen, and yeah. he uses it a lot. He, yeah, he's been carrying yeah. it everywhere with him, and I've noticed it. And he I... also has been using just the black pen in mm -hmm. it, right? He's been using the Infree, mm -hmm. yeah, which I love. <laughs> which you love, yeah. So and I try to like sneak attack and like film like what's in your planner <laughs> video with him, and he refused to do it. <laughs> I was very, very oh sad. God. And, like rejected. Oh <laughs> my god! It's okay. You'll 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 get him one day. Yeah. You'll get him. But yeah, I think we've all been. Um, you know, it's funny. We all go through like phases of using different stationery, mm -hmm. and this is just what's happening right now. So um, yeah, I don't know. I just thought I would ask May. Hopefully, you enjoyed this little segment. And I think that's about it for this episode of catching up with Yoseka Stationery. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, let us know in the questions as always. If you have any questions, always free, feel free to ask us for Ask Yosaka Anything. Leave it in the comments or email us, whatever it is. And thank you all so much for watching. Bye. Okay, great. Bye.